Hey everyone, in this demo we're going to go through how to create trendy gradients just like this by only using a circle and an outer shadow. Now trendy gradients are popular around the entire web. If you go to Dribbble, you can just search gradient and you can see all these examples. You can even check out live sites that are using this today on awards.com. The point is, is that trendy gradients have tons of uses and today we're just going to show you how to set it up so that you can create more in the future. So we're going to start from a new project. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go to our section and add one. And we do want this to be, you know, the full viewport. So we're going to set the height to be 100% and the minimum height as well as 100%. Now I already have our palette loaded in here. So I'll go ahead and give this a background color, that light tan. And now we can start setting up the trending. The, uh, now we can start setting up the trendy gradient. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to go into our add menu. We're going to find the circle. And we are going to drag it onto our canvas. Now for this, we want the measurements just to be about equal, a little bit small. So we're doing 50 pixels by 50 pixels. We also want to make sure we set the origin correctly. Again, we, because we're using relative height with the section as 100%, we want to make sure that the um, the gradient is always where we want it on the page when we publish. So we'll go ahead and set that to be in the center and I'll just set the Y to be zero and the X to be zero. So it's dead center. Now for the background, I'm going to add that deep orange color. And our next step is going to be adding the gradient itself. To do that, we're going to go to shadow and have this outer shadow already added like this. And we're going to add in some, some certain specifications. We're going to go zero degrees. We're going to do a blur of about 100, the spread about 150, and the distance can actually just be zero. You're totally fine there. Now what we'll do is we already see that the gradient's there. We just need to add the color. So let's add that deep orange. And we pretty much created our gradient. We can do other things too. You can go into the opacity here and we can bring it down if we want it to be softer or we can just have it to be 100% if we want it to be stronger. I'm gonna go about 70%. And the nice thing about this is that we can actually create multiple ones. So we can have one in the top corner over here. We can have one in the top right up here. We could have one up here. It doesn't really matter. For the purposes of our demo, I'm gonna put one right up to the top here and write one. It's down the bottom, it's a little bit more uh, viewable. So I'm gonna actually bring this up. I'm actually gonna bring this opacity down just slightly. And again, I wanna make sure it's centered. So actually for this one, because it's in the top area, I'm just gonna add the origin to be the very top. I'm gonna to add the y axis, y axis to be negative 70 and the x to be zero, so it's in the center. And for this, I am going to set this in the center is still fine. I just want to make sure my Y value is correct. So I'll just do 300. Nice. And so now we set up our trendy gradient, but we still need to add the other elements like our images. So we'll go in here. We'll go ahead and add an image. And we already have some images loaded up here. So we can make sure that our width is right. I'm going to downsize this one a little bit, copy and paste here. Then of course we can do the last one here and kind of just play around and have fun with it. So now we have everything about where we want it. Again, make sure to set your origins. So again, these are all coming from the top left which should be fine, but I'm actually going to put these to be all in the center just so that the origin point is always going to be that center. We can also start adding our text. So we go up here to the text tool, we can click and drag and we can do our text title and we can do our text title. So I'm actually going to do an H4 style first. We're going to go in style Oslo. And then I'm gonna start my H1s. 
And this is like, this is also a cool trick to do for text. If you need something to share in H1, but it's a different font, you can do um, a few little tricks. So here we're going to do just some text. I'm going to write it all out. We're going to go orange juice editorial. And this will all be H1. And we can start setting up our styles here on the style panel. So for H4, I'd like this to be railway and we'll do regular, we'll go center, bring that down to 14 maybe, actually 16 is fine. And we'll bring this to be H1. So again, this is the, the really cool trick is if you have different fonts, um, that you want to include in H1, you can simply make this span bold. So I'm making that this text is bold. You'll see what happens in a second. So for the H1 overall, I'm going to set as railway, as medium, center aligned, and I believe about like 70 overall. I definitely want to address the line height, maybe even to 0 0.8, 0 0.5 maybe. And then once I'm in the bold here, because we've already set that text, we can actually just give it a fully new font that we'd like, just like that. So whatever we give bold in this text element will be given the new font just like that. Yeah, and that's perfect. And here it is published to our domain. And as we resize the browser, we can see that all the origins are set in the correct spot. And that's it. That's how you create trendy gradients directly in the design editor inside of Vev.